If religion teaches us to be good humans, then why not just become a good person and not believe in a religion? Dear judges and listeners, good morning everyone. Today I'm given the opportunity to express my thoughts about this thought-provoking topic, which is, if religion teaches us to be good humans, then why not just become a good person and not believe in a religion? This brainstorming topic gave a short shock for a moment, making us think, whether religion is important, what role it plays in our lives, or just to be up to the standards of being a good human is enough. To make this clear, we need to see things from the start. A study by Oxford University experts suggests that mankind is hardwired to be religious, and the cause of this is evolution. Fear of God could have helped shape mankind into what we are today. This means that religion has been always an important thing to design our lives. Many anthropologists accept the theory that religions appeared with the objective of maintaining social order and strengthening the links between members. Basically, religion is an expression of man's nature as a creature. In other words, when man encounters truths he can't explain, realities deeper than his own experience and wonders beyond imagination, he naturally becomes religious. When man realizes that he is but a part of creation and not the whole of creation, he becomes religious. Religion deals in faith, belief and trust in some revealed truth, as opposed to a truth which is discovered by scientific experiment. Many people are atheists because they think there is no evidence for God's existence, or at least no reliable evidence. They argue that a person should only believe in things for which they have good evidence. For me, in this large universe where everything is chaos, our existence can't be some coincidence, it had to part of some design, must have some meaning in it which most of the people fail to understand and end up being nothing and making up simple understood standards of life like to be good, care for downtrodden, never hurt anyone. For them being in this world is to save the humanity rather than focusing on religion. They fail to understand the fact that religion has a lot to do with our lives. Assume for the moment that we know what good is. Doing it often involves sacrifice. And if no one is looking, why not do something evil, something selfish, at others' expense, instead? Do we have to be taught the difference between good and bad, right and wrong? Are we naturally drawn toward either? It is religion who tames us, who make us control our illicit needs. It gives us the sense of good and teaches us doing bad lead to consequences. If you are not religious and only good, it means doing something wrong doesn't make you stand in the category of repenting or punishment, making you more prone to bad because you have no set of rules and teachings in your life. Today I want to argue that if God exists, then the objectivity of moral values, moral duties and moral accountability is secured, but that in the absence of God, that is if God does not exist, then morality is just a human convention. That is to say, morality is wholly subjective and non-binding. We might act in precisely the same ways that we do in fact act, but in the absence of God, such actions would no longer count as good or evil, since if God does not exist, objective moral values do not exist. Thus, we cannot truly be good without God. On the other hand, if we do believe that moral values and duties are objective that provides moral grounds for believing in God, thank you.